Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about using an ultrasonic cleaner for your printing shop. We're going to use this left basis ultrasonic cleaner. The capacity of this cleaner is 600 ml. It comes with a basket and a bracket for watches, power cord, and a clear cover. I really like how this cleaner looks. It's really slick. Ultrasonic clean things by creating tiny bubbles. So when those bubbles burst, they create a cavity which clean the stuff. This is why you always want to suspend your object in the water. And this is what the basket is for. I like how they designed this power cord. It has a spill guard. So when you accidentally spill some liquid, it's not going to fry the cleaner. If we press the switch, it's going to rotate all cleaning time, so you can decide how much time you need for cleaning. Here's how I check out the ultrasonic cleaner. So when I turn it on, I want to see the working surface. Some cleaners have wells, just certain areas have bubbles, but here you can see the bubble is evenly distributed. So the whole surface is a clean surface. That's a good sign. Let me get my glasses cleaned before we go on. Sometimes you just feel like your glass is not clean enough, no matter how you clean it. So I drop in the ultrasound cleaner and go five minutes on it. Another thing I clean is the PCB board. Here's a regular board or this Wi-Fi card. And also for the motherboard, sometimes you get contaminated by the spilled inks or grease. I just put in the ultrasonic cleaner and I make sure it's submerged underneath the water. After cleaning it, I have a fruit dryer. I put in the fruit dryer for a couple hours or you just make sure that you properly dry it before you use it. And this is an optical sensor. The ultrasonic is going to do a wonderful job on it. The same thing as a CSS board. It's very important to keep this clean so the printer can recognize your cartridges. And here we got a really clean board. I routinely clean all my tools and the FFC cables. And those cables are really easy to get contaminated by the ink. If I put in the print head, it's going to fry the print head. See the little things already get knocked out by the ultrasonic cleaner and the flowing around. That's good. So we we'll get a clean tools and clean cables. Okay, so how about the print head? Do not clean this part of print head for Epson printer. That's because Epson printer has a membrane in it. If you clean it, the bubble is going to break the membrane and you're going to get all the color interchange with each other and damage your print head. Instead, you can use the ultrasound to clean the top part. When you have a clock, people tell you to push ink through it. However, this is the top part of the print head. If this part is clogged, you need to clog this part first before you push ink in. Otherwise, all those garbage could get pushed into the print head and you make things worse. And I'm using L1800 example. Lots of people convert this to a DTF printer. So the middle two are white inks. You can see the white inks, when they clog, they look like rubber. You're going to feel really heavy resistance when you push the ink. The ultrasonic cleaning not always work because the ultrasonic cleaning only works when there's liquid. If you have a clock, there's no liquid in it. There's no air bubble, so it won't help you too much. But at first, let's use ultrasonic cleaner to knock off what's around it so we can work on the issue. You can see the surface get softened a little bit, so we just scrape it off. Notice this part is still solid. Then I use micro needles or drills to clean out this channel as much as possible. I'm going to put a link to the ultrasonic cleaner and also the micro needle and also the drill in the description of this video. 
the micro drill has a spiral, so it's easier for you to remove the rubberish clog. All we're trying to do is create some cavity so the water or ink can go in there, and then the ultrasonic cleaner can work on it. And we use a micro needle to open up the pores on the top so water can get in. The first one, we're going to clean it regularly, and then we flip it upside down, clean it upside down. The bubble aggregate on the bottom going to push the debris upward. And look at the white stuff coming up. This means the channel is open now, so we can try to push some liquid through, see if we can get more stuff out. And it turned out that the ink is too thick, and we cannot effectively push the clog out. And I just do a combination of the drill, the push, and I try to open it. I end up with pushing too hard, and so the syringe broke. This is pretty common for folks that do the ink push. When you push the cleaning liquid through the printhead, you push too hard. Either you are not effective or you're probably going to break the printhead. This is why I suggest you to clean this first before you clean the printhead. For a clock this stopper, I'm going to use BCH DTF cleaning solutions. This cleaning solution is made specifically for the DTF, and they always come with blue color. I've seen people selling regular cleaning solutions, just dyed blue, and call the DTF cleaning solutions. The real DTF cleaning solution cannot be put in a clear bottle like this. And the bottle has to be look like this. It's like a semi-transparent. The effect of these cleaning solutions is to soften the clog. It's not dissolve it, it just soften it. So it's easier for you to push it out or suck it out. I'm also going to inject some cleaning solutions inside the clog. So it will soften it up. You can see there are lots of clogs you have to remove physically. It's not like you put some magic potion and it's going to take care of itself. And make sure wear gloves when you work on this cleaning solution. You can see it's not completely water-based, and so it's totally different from the regular cleaning solution. So just proceed with the caution. And you can see there are chunks of clogs coming out now. All right, that's the first step. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro. North Carolina. Cheers.